Ritu with the Nerds of Color. It is such an honor to be speaking with you both today. Ritu, Aryo, and Priya Kansara. Welcome. I can't believe I'm speaking with you both. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Doing really well. Thank you. Um, I love this film so much. It's one of my favorite films of all time, right off the bat. Bravo to both of you and your amazing performances. First off, I need to ask, because we all admire her so much, what makes being the conduits for Nita Manzor's work unique from other creators you've worked with, including and besides the representation a aspect? I think um, she, it's her, she brings just another tone, you know, it's, it's her own tone and it's one that's this funny, eclectic world um, that just feels so sort of direct and fierce and lighthearted, you know? And that comes from, I don't know, her own life experiences and whatever, her own references. And it's, you know, we're here for it. I think her as a person, she's just this beautiful spirit and she just shines and creates this collaborative atmosphere. But but for me, yeah, it is in her, her work. It's just unique in itself. Oh my gosh. I mean, I, I will end up echoing so much of what Ritu said, Nithers an incredible writer she just she brings so much nuance in her writing and she also is able to bring in so many different genres and um, references and um, you know even like for example with her comedy there's just so much within the dialogue but then so much that she brings out of the actors but then also so much that she does within the edit and there's just so much to take from from her work there's something in it for everyone um, and really she writes with such an authentic and real voice um and she makes sure that that is carried through in her work all the way up until you know that last edit the last final um thing that the audience get to see and um i think we just feel so lucky to get to be a part of her storytelling um, and be able to play these really amazing characters that are not only just representing the south asian community but so many people so much of it is so universal so we feel really really privileged to be able to work with her. <laughs> Absolutely. And on that universality aspect, Ritu, I feel that Lena is a highly relatable character and how in the film, without giving too much away, she has to acquiesce not only to patriarchal pressures, but also capitalistic ones in her decision to marry. So how do you aim to channel that relatability for Lena? She aims for that financial security. Um, that's a really interesting question. I feel like she's not really looking for financial stability at all I think that she surprises herself that she gets engaged because she's such an a inner rebel that she's in this place of being you know lost with per lost for purpose and, and and filling a void and she's just like fuck it I'm just gonna get engaged and I think she loves that kind of crazy side of herself it makes her feel alive so um and I think that's relatable too that we can, you know, we've all been in a place where we we don't know what to do with ourselves and having a shower feels like an achievement that day. And so it's easy to be led by whatever comes in front of us to fill that void. Um, so yeah, I hope that answers the question. Yeah, it absolutely did. And I just have one final question for the both of you. What message do you hope this film imparts to South Asian, as well as us West Asian, I'm Kurdish, uh, people watching about the importance of sisterhood in our communities and how we should value it more? I mean, the, the importance to kind of support one another and be each other's cheerleaders, um, to instill a sense of self-belief within ourselves as well. Um, you know, when everyone may seem against you, if you stand by, stand for yourself, and that you know not to take a no um, as an answer, it's just such a um, empowering state to be in and that we can be there for one another, how important sisterhood is. We really should be fighting for each other um, all the time. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you both so, so much for speaking with the Nerds of Color today. Love the film. Hope everyone goes and see it. And congratulations. It is amazing. I just love this film so much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> boys, professional artists and professors. Maybe a nerd who's just like you. Talking about the things that you like too. So I invite you to the NOC. In full color, you see me. The hard not lying. Comics, movies, and TV. Yeah. Pop culture with a different perspective. Watch it on your screen, hit play, so check this.